really slippery. Like I need to step up my game when it comes to my diet again. And it almost becomes like this, um, almost like an eating disorder. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to a new vlog. And first of all, welcome to all new people that has recently found me. I nearly did not put up the last vlog of mine due to the fact that I was late. I'm supposed to upload on Fridays. That's like my initial plan. Um, but, but because I got the bad news and I wasn't feeling myself, I was like, oh, no, I, I don't feel like talking to the camera. And so I was gonna r running behind basically. And then I was like, well, I might as well upload it late. I'll upload it on, on the Sunday evening instead thinking that nobody would watch it but in fact so many new people found me and i'm very grateful and, and honored and like a little bit shocked <laughs> um but it, it really made my day so i wanted to say thank you today however we are home from school kindergarten work everything i um Hector was calling me. Um, so Hector had a stomach bug during the weekend. So between sun, sat, night between Saturday and Sunday, he got ill, throwing up. And I had to deal with that in the night. I had to change his bedding and all of that. And then he slept with me. <laughs> and then uh, the night between Monday and Tuesday, I turned ill. Even I had called Caesar for help. He had to come home in the middle of his shift to help me because I was fainting in the bathroom. I was vomiting. I was like, it was this whole chaos. And I had both kids home, um, and I was like, I need help, <laughs> basically. So he came, and then this morning, so we stayed home all day yesterday because I couldn't I couldn't find the stamina to take the kids to school. And this morning Natalie woke up with a stomach pain. Um, so we are all home today. I'm trying to um, make myself feel better as I always do when I'm feeling down. And actually for Christmas I got two face masks from one of my dear friends. And I was like now is the perfect time to use them. Because I feel like my skin is really really suffering after like dehydration from you know losing so much fluid and that kind of thing and i i feel like i want to do both of them but i think i'm gonna do the eye masks these ones now and then do my skincare moisturize and all of that and then i will do my face mask this evening i think with a cup of tea or something oh you can also see that i really desperately need to do my nails but anywho so i'm gonna do these ones they are uh, ipad masks cucumber cool uh, limited edition and I have been saving these because I feel like my under like in this light maybe you can't tell but you can you can tell that I'm like I haven't been feeling well so I have like red and blue spots all over and all under my eyes and like if I stand like this you can see that my like my eye bags have eye bags <laughs> if you know what I mean so I feel like I really need help today I'm supposed to have it on for like 20 minutes so I think this is going to be perfect while I tidy up from breakfast and I get like Natalie's room sorted Oi. and then Oi. they are really slippery um, the dishes and that kind of so I'm going to be doing that while enjoying them if I can get them out really slippery let's see if I can do it in the viewfinder something like that they have, they are very cooling and very nice. I mean, I look like a hot mess, but like, oh, this actually feels quite good. Just don't want to get it in my eye. That's the only thing. Oh, they are very soft. I like them. Nice. Let's do the other one. I can also feel like my face is all swollen. <laughs> And, by the way, so I was doing a little bit, not research, but like doing things that make me feel good, like taking care of myself inside and out. So I feel like I need to step up my game when it comes to my diet again. I will try and get some really good nutrients in today. I feel like yesterday I did everything I could to just put my stomach back together, basically, to not have to go to the bathroom as much. 
So I had like gluten-free toast, I was eating apples, I was eat I was trying to drink water and then I could feel my headache come so I was like I really do need to have a coffee. So I did have a coffee yesterday and it was fine and it was probably the most delicious coffee I've had in my life. <laughs> like it was so good. Um, and I'm on my first one this morning. I'm gonna go and have a look what the kids are doing because they are shouting. But what I want to do today is that I want to order a few new vitamins. I want to order like a vitamin organizer that I've seen uh, on Amazon that I want to have. Because I really want to step up my game with taking vitamins. And then I'm gonna tackle like my plan for like... I don't want to stay start my diet over but like I want to clean up my diet even more um, and I feel like I desperately need it and I want to incorporate some new um, and healthy foods like turmeric and, and ginger. I used to take ginger shots every morning and I don't know why I stopped doing that probably because it's fussy <laughs> like to make it but honestly when you have it you're so grateful that you have it in your fridge so I will probably share that with you, um, what I decide to make and then um, yeah, I'm just gonna try and make kind of like a feel good vlog today and share with you all the things that I'm doing to make myself feel better. Um, and yeah, if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions or if you want to share your story with me I would love for you to do that. You can always comment down below or you can send me a private message on Instagram but I promise I don't look like this in all of the videos. <laughs> And if you want to hear more about my um, MS journey, I have a playlist linked as well down in the description box. So let's start our day, let's get cracking, let's tidy up this bedroom, put the laundry on and try and get some nutrients in while this is doing its thing. I can feel that it's working, it's almost stinging a little bit and that's quite mm, alarming. <laughs> but anyway, um, yep. Hector is now down for nap and Natalie is resting on the sofa, hence why I'm speaking so quietly. We came back, I, I made Caesar drive us to do a little spontaneous shopping because I feel like there are so many things I need. I'm going back to my basics, I'm trying to clean up my diet again, especially now after being ill. And I feel like I want to start doing my ginger tonic again in the morning. And I wanted to share with you a few bits that I picked up like a healthier option of what I would normally have. So first choice of today is that I'm switching out all our white sugar for brown sugar. And uh, they had another ecologic option that was... <sighs> I suppose that that would have been the better choice, but it was a lot more in this one, so that's why I didn't go with the ecologic one. But brown sugar is supposed to be better for you than white sugar, and we do like to bake, so I knew I know that I need to have a few sugar options on hand, but for sweetener, normally I'm opting for honey. And then for my non-dairy milks that I've chosen this time is almond milk and so oat milk. It's my second choice for non-dairy um, milks and this is what I will be using for my smoothies and things. For my coffee I uh, would prefer that one over this one but both works for coffee but honestly nothing keeps the flavor or nothing can compare with the flavor of real milk like lo lactose free milk is what I want for my coffee but if I'm taking a dairy free option these are the two I'm going with. I also picked up a dairy free uh, yogurt because I love to have yogurt with berries and uh, seeds and things and I also want to be able to add it to my smoothies and then I picked up a huge bag of spinach a tub of blueberries this is something that I will be adding so this is turmeric they didn't have uh, fresh turmeric so I opted for the the grounded one but I will be adding that to my ginger ginger shots that I will be making later today this is for my smoothie and then I also wanted to share with you coconut water and aloe vera juice uh, as 
pure as you can find it, preferably with some of the pulp inside. That's really good for cleaning your intestines and keeping your gut health um, at bay. And then coconut water has so many benefits as well. You can Google why, but like I like to add this to my smoothies and that kind of thing. So all of these is just to try and keep my gut health as healthy as possible and to keep my inflammation at bay. I'm trying to really step up my game with my anti and anti-inflammatory diet at the moment. So I just wanted to share a few of the bits that I picked up. Now I'm going to make myself a smoothie. I'm going to have some protein powder in there and then I will be making my ginger tonic later today. I did hang the laundry as I said I would. Um, so now I'm gonna enjoy my smoothie while Hector is sleeping and I thought I would take the opportunity to speak to you guys for a little bit. So let's see if it's any good first. Mm. It is, but I feel like I should have um, made it a little bit more smooth. <laughs> I didn't want to make more noise. My daughter was like, Mommy, you're making so much noise. Um, so I had to, to stop. I mean, I don't mind that it's chunky, but like now I have a little part of uh, <laughs> uh, spinach floating around. Mm. Anywho, the, the smoothie was, was nice. It just hit the spot. But I feel like it's so hard to stick to a diet and I know that I'm not the only one I feel like if I stick to a diet if I restrict myself to a diet it becomes a mental thing and every time I pick up something to eat I'm just stressing like oh is this part of what I'm supposed to be eating and it almost becomes like this um, almost like an eating disorder every time I put something in my mouth I'm, mouth, I'm thinking oh is this gonna harm me and that's why I wanted to stop the best bet diet because I was on it for quite some time. Uh, not stop it in the sense that not following it, just not being as strict. Uh, and I reintroduced a little bit of dairy. And But to be honest, I have been consuming a lot more sugar than what is good for me. Um, not trying to blame it on other people, but like I'm this kind of person. If I have chocolate in my house, I will eat it. But if we don't buy any chocolate, then I'm not going to go out and buy chocolate to eat it, if you know what I mean. So as long as it's not in my house, I have no problem not eating it. But if it's here, I will find it and I will eat it. <laughs> and I feel like it has been a lot of those now for a while. And I know that sugar is terribly, terribly bad for your body, especially white sugar. Um, so eating like chocolate bars and that kind of thing is like really really bad for you and I have been doing that um, and it's so easy when I come home if I'm hungry if I don't have anything prepared it's so easy to just take a piece of something while I'm preparing lunch I'm pretty good at at cooking healthy and whole foods and a lot of vegetables and like I'm quite good at that but time management not so much because I have so much on my plate and usually what happens is is that I don't eat enough and then I get hungry and I will take some something that I shouldn't be be taking um, but anyway I just wanted to to share that little thought with you guys while sipping on my smoothie and looking out at the pool on out onto the pool while my two-year-old son is inside vacuuming I wanted to show you my uh, tonic so Look at that color, it's so pretty! So this is my ginger 
and turmeric, lemon, orange, tonic. And I'm just bottling it in my mason jars and when it's cold I'm gonna, or when it has cooled down I'm gonna stick it in the fridge. But before I put the lid on I just wanted to show you how wonderfully yellow that is. And it's very strong. <laughs> I added a tiny bit of honey, lemon and orange juice inside as well. For some extra nutrients and taste. So this I will be taking as a shot in the morning. I've also been doing some online shopping on, on Amazon and I'm ordering some new vitamins. I'm ordering a few books and then a vitamin organizer. Yeah, some a few bits and bobs. I don't know if you have heard of any of these books. But as soon as I've read them, I'm gonna be letting you know if they're any good. I'm choosing between those two. I think that looks cuter. That's probably <laughs> the one I will go with. And then I saw a girl on Instagram reading this book and it inspired me to have a look. And then I'm ordering myself a multiple sclerosis journal to take note of my daily symptoms and pain and you know mood and all of those things that I'm doing. So when I have my neurologist appointment, it's gonna be easier to keep track of everything. And then I found something quite interesting. I recently learned that you have to take D and K vitamin together for the body to properly absorb the D vitamin. And Glorifil have the combination here. So I'm like, hmm, that's nice. I might just buy that one then. We shall see. have just arrived home from work and I know that you guys like sometimes to get meal ideas and I'm literally just whipping up some leftovers and preparing my lunch because I'm really hungry so I ended up making scrambled eggs and added some spinach fresh spinach in there it prob probably I can't find my it probably do not look the most appetizing but I promise you it's a lot of nutrients and a lot of colors here and it's gonna be delicious I, I just know it so I have two eggs a handful of spinach and then I had some and some sauteed um, carrots and potatoes and onion and then I have some baby or cocktail tomatoes and fresh basil and this is gonna be my lunch I think it's full of nutrients and you have protein in there and vegetables and whatnot so I'm gonna eat this gonna try and take uh, ibuprofen and then some other pain relief because I'm just struggling today. I feel like ever since being sick all of my symptoms have now flared and I feel like I'm in a big haze, a big MS haze and um, yeah it's just I'm struggling today let's just say that. I feel like my arms are ugh, too heavy for me. Literally, the house is a mess, everything is a mess. When mom's ill, the house gets neglected. <laughs> I think that's true in most cases. But anyway, um, yeah, I've been not been feeling great. Uh, yeah, I literally, like last night I woke up and I couldn't move my arms. So when Hector woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning, I had to, to go and take him from his crib and I wasn't sure that my arms would be able to carry him and that was quite scary but um, in the end I was I managed uh, but what happens is that my arms sometimes will get so weak to the point where they just give in and I can't pick things up and, and I will feel like they fall asleep now Caesar is home one moment 
I had to open for Caesar. He just came home. So what I, I was saying that my arms will fall asleep or it will feel like they fall asleep and they become so heavy I can't move them. <laughs> that's literally how I am. Um, but that usually happens at night, so that's strange. Um, but now I just feel weak and I have a lot of pains and my legs feel weak. I have no balance and that kind of thing. So I'm going to eat now. I'm probably going to end the vlog here and I'm going to say thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments. And then thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you did subscribe on my last video, I always have my playlist of like my MS series that I created from finding out, from being tested, not knowing what they were testing for to like the whole process of getting a diagnosis to getting my diagnosis and what have happened since. So if you're curious about that, then I have a playlist always uh, at the end of the video and then link down in the description box. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video and if there is any requests of videos that you want to see from me, then don't hesitate to ask. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye friends. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell